So you need a strategy for large language models and generative AI. Here's a secret the AI consultants won't tell you. Almost every company develops the same AI strategy, whether they spend a week or a year working on it. And we're going to create yours in one hour. Life moves pretty fast. You don't stop and look around once in a while. You could miss it. Let's get into it. I suggest you first pause this video and download the free customizable PowerPoint deck linked in the show notes, then import it into your company's corporate PowerPoint template and edit it as we go through the presentation. Since starting ProLego seven years ago, I have helped dozens of companies develop AI strategies that resulted in hundreds of millions of dollars in enterprise AI investments. Over time, I started to realize that Every company was creating essentially the same plan, but most wasted a massive amount of time on two big distractions. The first big distraction is gathering use cases. Many companies compile AI projects while searching for a sweet spot opportunity of a high impact, low effort project. Soon they have a spreadsheet of dozens or even hundreds of ideas. The second big distraction is having recurring meetings on general AI topics like opportunities, constraints, bias, ethics, infrastructure, policy, and talent. Now these discussions are interesting, but over time, the meetings produce more and more questions without any answers. So if you start down the path of creating use cases or just having meetings, you and your colleagues will soon realize you're just not making any progress. And you'll start hearing comments like, we just keep talking, but we're not really doing anything. Here's what's happening. You and your colleagues are trying to answer five questions before requesting funding for an initial AI project. Here are the five questions. What is the potential impact? How much will it cost? What infrastructure changes are necessary? What are the policy and data security implications? And what skills do we need to do it and maintain it? You're trying to answer these five questions by planning and talking, and it just doesn't work because all of these questions are interdependent. For example, bigger impact projects almost always cost more, and you can reduce infrastructure complexity by leveraging third-party solutions, but these have bigger policy and data security implications. Truthfully, you will only begin answering these questions once you start executing on your first projects. But this is your dilemma. You need answers to get the funding. You need the funding to begin executing, but you can't get the answers until you begin executing. Well, you can save yourself six months of work by coming to this realization now and taking a different approach, one that has worked for other companies. Instead of trying to create the perfect plan, reframe your AI strategy as a multi-year organizational transformation. You're going to tell your leadership exactly what they want to hear. You've got a big plan that starts with a small initial investment. What must I do? Here's how you're going to do it. Becoming an AI-empowered company requires maturing along five dimensions. Capabilities, the AI systems that solve many problems. Infrastructure, the computing services to securely process data and support solutions at scale. Talent, the human capital you need to execute and maintain a competitive position. And governance, the metrics and oversight necessary to ensure business impact and reduce risk. And finally, tools, the third-party resources necessary to accelerate your program. Now you're going to advocate for an approach that begins maturing along these five dimensions in parallel. This is the big vision and it will take your company's years just like every other company to get there. You will slowly get there by executing, not by compiling use cases or talking about AI concepts. Your plan is to request funding for a first project and demonstrate how this first project will help your company begin maturing along these five dimensions. Now, after doing this for years, I can promise you this is the AI strategy every single company eventually arrives at, regardless of how long they work on it or how much money they spend on an army of consultants. You're now in a position to begin filling in the details and selecting your first project. This is also a straightforward process, so let's begin preparing your AI strategy presentation for your leadership team. Your presentation will be successful if you can succinctly answer three questions for your leadership. Why now? So what? And how? This AI strategy template is designed to help you answer these three questions and you can download and customize it. The title slide references Acme Company, a tribute to the Roadrunner cartoons I watched as a kid. Of course, you'll want to replace Acme Company with your company's name here and on every slide. On slide two, you will answer the why now question. 
Everyone hears about AI, but very few people can translate the AI breakthroughs into your company's mission. You must begin with an unassailable, succinct reason to create urgency for acting now. AI can now reason, and that means you can leverage it as a general purpose technology. You're going to use this important point to smash every objection to smithereens. AI is now a general purpose technology. This breakthrough isn't ChatGPT, it is the GPT-4 Large Language Model, or LLM, released in March of 2023 by OpenAI. As many tests are demonstrating, including this example taken from OpenAI's press release, the models are now capable of performing analysis and reasoning tasks that previously only people could do. Project teams are discovering that they can build solutions 10 times faster and cheaper by asking models to perform tasks that previously required thousands of lines of software. And unlike previous AI technologies, this generation doesn't need to be retrained for specific tasks. So you can use powerful models like GPT-4 out of the box to begin solving many complex problems without making the massive investments in infrastructure, data, or world-class engineers. And that's why LLMs are a general purpose technology. Just as you don't need to build your own laptops, you don't need to build your own foundational AI models. So this is your business case, faster and cheaper. Why now? Because as of March, 2023, AI is a general purpose technology for solving any complex business task faster than rules-based software applications. On slide three, you're gonna answer the so what question. You need to connect the utility of a general purpose AI to specific big business opportunities at your company. I've presented three scenarios and you'll want to describe them based on your specific business operations. Let's walk through each one. The first is process documents. Some studies estimate that up to 40% of work at large companies is spent processing documents. Applications, claims, resumes, contracts, policies. I mean, truthfully, the list is endless. Most likely you have teams or departments whose entire workflow is spent reviewing, searching, revising, summarizing, classifying documents. This is an opportunity for a first project as we'll discuss momentarily. So in your presentation, pick an example from your company and describe how you can automate the tedious manual process to free your people up for more valuable work. Next is provide unique insight. Your company is frustrated by its inability to unlock the value from data scattered across departments, documents, spreadsheets, and databases. LLMs can allow you to finally extract this value because they can work with messy data and can reason across disparate data sources. Your dashboards, reports, and application screens are going to be replaced with a conversational interface like ChatGPT. I call this capability Unified Natural Language Query, and it is another option for your first project. The third is automate our operations. Pick the core, biggest, and most complex process your company has and begin describing how you will begin automating it with AI. You won't be able to go into specifics, and obviously this isn't something that will be done in a year, and you need to characterize it as an inevitability and why you need to begin moving towards this goal or risk losing to competitors who can execute 10 times faster and cheaper. Again, the enabling technology is the ability of the models to process complex scenarios and reason. Now at this point in your presentation, you will have answered the two most important questions. Why now and so what? And if you haven't convinced your leadership, you need to stop here, figure out why and possibly regroup. And if they are convinced, they're going to be overwhelmed about how to get there because they will see nothing but obstacles. Fortunately, you're ready. Slide four is where you answer the how question, just as we discussed previously. You're going to describe the five dimensions of organizational maturity you need to develop to become an AI-empowered company. Truthfully, I've never witnessed an executive get $50 million of funding from their board by talking about technology but I've seen several do so by talking about organizational transformation. Every successful AI program has a framework like this with four to six categories to succinctly explain the organizational changes that will take place. This slide is the key to your strategy. You need to shift the conversation from predictions to process. Spend a minute or two talking about each of these five dimensions using the examples from your company. Talk generally about where you are and where you need to go. If you are pressed on details, politely remind the audience that you will only be able to answer these questions once you begin executing. 
Of course, this type of ambiguous answer to specific questions will make some people nervous. Nobody wants to endorse a high-risk plan. Slide 5 is where you will overcome these objections. You will propose a think big but start small approach, like a technology startup. You will ask for initial funding for a few small projects. Instead of setting unrealistic goals like a specific ROI or business impact, you will measure your success based on incremental impacts and maturing along these five dimensions. And where possible, you will also align your first projects to existing high-profile initiatives at your company. Now at this point, you will have answered the three critical questions. Why now, so what, and how? And it is just a matter of proposing your first projects. You can start this conversation by describing the potential capabilities you could begin creating, which are listed on slide six. Recall that capabilities are one of the five dimensions of AI maturity discussed on slide four. If possible, modify these examples to reflect your business. And if you've invested months in compiling a list of potential use cases, this is a good place to document them. You're going to conclude your presentation by proposing your first initial projects, describing the impacts, and then mapping them back to your five dimensions. Let's walk through two examples I've covered in previous episodes of our AI strategy series. Links to everything I'm going to talk about are down in the show notes. The first example in slide seven is automated contract review, an example of the automated document processing solution I described in detail in episode two of our AI strategy series. Automated document processing is a great quick win opportunity since it is low risk and relatively straightforward. Then in slide eight, you will explain how this first project begins your company's journey of maturing along the five dimensions. So slide eight shows how you're thinking big and slide seven shows how you're starting small. The second example on slide nine is AI driven business intelligence, an example of unified natural language query I explained in episodes three, four, and five of our AI strategy series. You can start with a specific report or dashboard and begin developing the conversational interface that allows your customers to get more insight and value from their data. And slide 10 describes how the project will contribute to your organizational AI maturity. And that's it. You've got your company's AI strategy and you've saved six months of meetings and thousands of dollars of consulting work. If you're relatively new to LLMs and generative AI, you may have a lot of other practical questions. So feel free to reach out to us through our website at prolego.com or ask questions in the comments below. And of course, be sure to sign up to our weekly newsletter where we will answer most of your questions and cover a lot of the deep topics relevant to creating your AI strategy. Have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.